how's it going? So in animation, film, really any type of animating um, objects, there's a lot of things that are bl have blinking lights, like robots. If you watch Star Wars, most of the robots have like a little blinking light aspect to them. Now in Blender, sometimes it can be very complicated to blink a lot of objects at once as there's some complicated keyframing and throwing that into the graph editor and adding a noise modifier. I'm gonna show you a very simple way to make one shader, apply it to every object you want and animate them very easily. So you can get this scene file right here in the description for a dollar. For those of you on Patreon, you'll be getting this for free. If you don't know about the Patreon, I have a lot of exclusive tutorials on there. I just launched one the other day on how to get this color rim effect. There's tons of assets on there that I release weekly, tons of other stuff. You can go check that out, linked in the description. So let's get into the tutorial. So I'm gonna go to a new file here and it doesn't matter what, what you use. So I'm just gonna highlight this, delete it, and I'm gonna make one object. So we're just gonna go with an Ecosphere. It doesn't really matter. It just works on literally any object. So let's go to the shading here. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna be using Eevee. And um, so let's get here, click new. And in this case, I'm gonna be using emission shader. So let's get a mix shader here. So mix shader and plug that there to the surface. I'm gonna get two emission shaders. So just like that, actually, I'm gonna use a principled. We're gonna be using principled here and I'm just gonna bring up the transmission and the roughness down by there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this here, plug that there and the emission here and bring up the emission strength by say 11. Now, how this works is we're gonna get in a color ramp just like this, plug that there. We're gonna be getting a noise texture Plug that factor into the color ramp. And the last thing we do is an object info node. Now let's get the object info and use the random socket. So now when that happens, we it's only one object here, so you can't see it actually working. We're also gonna change the noise texture to 4D so we can play with this W. So you can see, you can play around with that, just adds randomness, but you'll see that in just a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and just duplicate this a whole bunch. all having the same shader on them. So I'm actually gonna change this from linear to constant so we get a hard edge here, and we're gonna change this color ramp right here. So now you can see it happening. Once we go to the W, just animate the W, and you get random blinking on all your objects. It's really, really simple. And you can just duplicate this a, a thousand times, different objects all over, and you get a really cool, easy animation. And also this works for color. So say I wanna add some color to this, we'll take the color ramp here, duplicate it, and I'm gonna add two colors that I want. So we'll go with red, and say we'll go with uh, a blue. Plug the color into the color of the emission, and then just take the noise texture here, right into there, and then then you can take the color ramp of the, emi of the, of the emission and just tweak it just a little bit, just like that, and then go, go back and play with the W, and you get really cool blinking lights and depending on the speed you animate them, that's the uh, how it works. So there you go, it's very simple, very easy. You just have a simple node set up and you strobe lights, have a lot of fun. So there you go, thanks for watching, hope you learned something.